Doctor Who, The Wheel in Space, Episode 5, Loading Bay. The Doctor and Jamie hide behind the crate and watch the Cybermen take one of the boxes of Berlarium and then leave. Jamie, that was close. Doctor, it is so easy. Jamie, what? Doctor, I don't understand them. Jamie, what are you talking about? Doctor, destroying the wheel. Jamie, that's what I'm fit talking about. From outside, it's strong enough, but now the, the Cybermen are inside. Jamie, so you... Yes, I see what you mean. What do you think they're planning? They're planning. Doctor, well, they obviously don't want to destroy the wheel. Jamie, what do they want, then? Doctor, I wish I knew. The first thing we must do is protect the people here. Jamie, how, Doctor? That, What's that thing which we need to survive? We serve them and don't. Jamie, food. Doctor, always think in your stomach, aren't you? No, air, Jamie, air. Now, I wonder how that works. The doctor hits a video call button. We all operations room. Then off. It's the doctor. Doctor, monitor. Hello, I think it would be wise to lock all the airlock doors. Can you do that? Ryan, yes, Lenoff. Leo says that he can. Why? Dot a monitor. The submen are definitely on the wheel. Jamie and I have seen one. They may, they may try to interfere with the air supply. Jamie, a monitor. Doctor, doctor, a monitor. What? Keep this channel open. Jamie, a monitor. Stomach moved over there. Just caught the corner of my eye. Cohen, what's wrong? Lenoff, I don't know. Ryan, shall I? Seal off the airlocks, sir. Jim? Cohen, yes. Ryan, seal off all the airlocks. And if I suppose we can trust this doctor? C- Cohen, I'm not sure why I do, but I do. Seeing all the airlocks, airlocks is co- for good common sense anyway. Leading loading bay. Jamie? There is the cybermat. The doctor speaks into the video com. Doctor, listen to me very carefully. Do as I ask and don't delay. One of the cybermats is very close to us. I'll tune into our brainwaves at any minute. Jamie, Doctor, it's turning. Doctor, hook up a variable audio frequency on this frequency right away. Do it at once. Are we at operation room? Cohen, Ikron, leave that. Loading bay. Jamie, that's, there's the second one. Come on. Doctor, no, we don't stand a chance. They've got a range of at least ten feet. Wheels operations room, Dr. Monta. Hurry, please hurry. Come in, come on, El Crow. Come silly. All right, all right, that's it. Power more. Come on, come on. A sound wine travels through the com circuits and builds in a loading bay. The doctor and Jamie cover their ears and the side mats start wearing around our control and bumping into each other. One starts going into tight circles to it smokes and stops. The other rushes head first into a wall to spire a flash. The flash. Wheel operations room. Go in, that's enough, he crow. Loading bay, doctor. We're coming back as fast as we can. This is what they sh- you've saved us from. Wheel operations room. Lenoff. What is that thing? So it's a server map. Doctor will monitor exactly. Meanwhile, in the powder room. Power room. The Cyberman uses a portable communicator to contact the mothership and the Cyberman planner. Enough, Leo, there's an energy reading from the powerhouse. Ryan is not coming off our power source. That's for sure. Let's check it out. Power room, Cyberman. All Cybermats have been destroyed, planner or monitor. Destroyed? By what method? Cyberman, they have used high current phase contrast. Planner or monitor, one human has knowledge beyond our predictions. Report. So, man, the X-ray ma- laser machine is repaired. Plan or monitor. An operative? So, man, in, in, yes, in, all the, in stage of operation. Plan or monitor. Communication being to Earth. So, man, attack and, attacked and is damaged. Plan or monitor. Please, phase six. So, man, yes. Plan or monitor. The space station to be taken over. Complete phase six. Will operations room. Ryan. Workshop, workshop. You p- come in, please. Caselli. Well, Bill Durham, we knew the right spot. Okay, Lenoff. What about radar? Caselli, radar's fine, but the radio's kaput. Lenoff, what, when's the last, next check, when's the next check to Earth Central? Caselli on one, on three, oh, 300. 
two hours' time. Then I set out a check of the first wave of the meteorites. Because suddenly I don't see the point. We don't. We haven't got a laser to knock them out with. Enough. Don't be pessimistic, Crow. They may not have the direct cows on, on, on to us. Anything can happen. Because suddenly anything is. Everything is. Fine, blimey. You think we're alone on the wheel. I can't raise anybody. Lenoff, have you told Gemma? Ryan, she's got her hands full. Enough as it is. Come in, Jarvis, Jarvis, look at that creature. Show it to him, Zoe. Zoe holds up the innate inanimate of Cybermat. Barnett, no, no, it's not true. It's not true. Come in, it. all right, Zoe. Put it away somewhere. Completely withdraw. Lots of effect. Doctor, not necessarily complete. Kinetic, could could not. Catatonic features, certainly. Going and it, I can try ECT. You could be shot back to normal. Does it, is the equipment here? Going, no, it's in the medical bay. Does it, oh, they wouldn't advise moving him. You've thrown a, man, you've thrown a magnetic force field when a sector. Going, yes. Does enough to keep the Cyberman out? Going, enough to keep anything out. The crew have been warned. Oh. Oh, no, it's no good. You're second in command. You must take over. Cry and take over what? We invaded. We have no contact with Earth. We're on the path of meteorites. Take over what? How do we fight without the laser? The other side of the room. Jamie, how is he? Zoe, helpless. Jamie, well, that's just fine. Zoe, you've just closed himself away. Jamie, well, who's the second command? Zoe, Dr. Cohen. Jamie, at least he's all right. Zoe, yes, hello. What can she do? I don't know, Jamie. Oh, there is something you don't know then. Oh, there's something you don't know then. Sorry, there's, there's too much I don't know. I've trained to believe logic. Circulation, calculation would provide me with the, all the answers. Well, I'm just beginning to realise that, that there are questions which I cannot answer. Jamie, you're not, you're not just trained for an emergency like this. So, well, that's the whole part. What a good! What good am I? I have been created to f- for some false kind of existence. We're only we're only known kinds of emergencies are catered for. Well, what good is that to me now? Jamie, well, hey, we're not done yet, you know. So even if we survive, what then, Jamie? Suppose we get ourselves out of this mess. What have I got left? A blind reliance on facts and logic. Right, in section 12, section 12, will you please come in? In section 12, oxygen supply, a mere crew member is about to answer the call when a submat grabs him from behind. Ryan, call him powerhouse, call him powerhouse, will you come in please, come in. Powerhouse, as Finnegan enters, Leg- Legham and Valance come out of the shadows, Finnegan. Oh, it's yourself, why didn't you, don't you answer this thing? Somebody sounds a bit violent, what balance. It's not important, Finnegan. It could be you're not old man himself, you know. Well, is the laser working yet, is it? Lakem, Laylam, it's finished, Finnegan. Oh, we're not to be riddled with the meteorites then? Valance, no, Finnegan. Well, that's great. I'm a whole year's leave coming to my back on Earth. Now, come on. Jacob, don't touch that, Finnegan. You can't, you can't just ignore it. What is it? What's the matter with you two, eh? But, but just do as you're told, Finnegan. Hey, hey, now, have you both gone mad or what? Vanitz points a gun at Finnegan. Finnegan, don't point that thing at me, laddie. Finnegan knocks the gun from Vanitz's hand and floors him. Laylam banishes a, a crowbar. Finnegan, right, is a fight you're after. I'm your man, come on, Finnegan. Laylam swings at the crowbar and misses Fenegan. You need a few lessons a noble a man the arts, me buckle. All right, come on. Lay Laylam Ham and Finnegan fight. And Vanitz picks up his weapon. Vanitz fires, missing Fenegan and killing Laylam. Instead a side man enters and hypnotizes Fenegan. A fiber man. The other machine has been installed. Vanitz, yes, side man. A false field had been sent around the operations room, control room. How is it, how is it operated? Operate, 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 operate,
Sorry, my man. Suppose of the body of the human. Wheels operations room. So he's giving Burnett some water. So he come on, some more. Just like just a little more. Burnett no no more. Benoff, don't force him. Give him whatever he wants, doctor. Well, I'm not surprised you can't get in touch with the rest of the wheel. Do you, I, the Cybermen, aren't, Cybermen aren't going to sit around and do nothing. Cohen, but can you still control our people? I thought you ha- had. Doctor, with the metal plates, you mean? Has anyone had them fitted to the back of their necks? Cohen, no, not yet. There's still some crew members about. Doctor, well, it would be advisable to have it done. Ryan, coming through now. Caselli, I lost them for a moment there, yeah. Yeah, everyone goes over to the radar screen. Caselli, hey, will you listen to that? Now this is a big storm. Trigger that then bigger than we thought. Ryan, I'm all right, all right. Don't make it worse. Cohen, we'll have to rely on this on the antimatter field projectors. Caselli, hey, they don't we don't you don't think the meteorites are going to bounce off them. Do you? We're talking about things weighing two or three hundred tons here. Cohen, how far away are they? Caselli, see so yourself less than a, f- a million miles now, coming, closing on an ethical path, a tilted ten degrees, a video com bleeps. Ryan, well, thank goodness for that. Must, must be one of the of the other sectors. Vanagon, a monitor. Power room. Ryan, Vanagon? What? Where have you been, Vanagon? A monitor. Restoring a laser discharge piece. Ryan? What was that? Vanagon. It has been rep- completed. Ryan. The laser repaired? Vanagon monitor. It's very for testing now. Ryan. Great. The laser's working. Stand by to run the tests. Vanagon. Where have you been? We're trying to raise you for ages. Vanagon on monitor. It must, it must be a fault that on the line balance is here with me. Are we, we are ready when you are ready. Ryan Wright. A hatch opens the outer surface of the wheel. A laser cannon comes out. Coselli. We're cutting it too fine. They're coming up to us too fast. 700,000 now. 60, 90, 690, 680. The speed of them is fantastic, Ryan. Take position from radar calibration estimates. Coselli. Angle 90 on 0402. This is now 60. Six ten thousand six dead in the five ninety. Jerry, what's the range of our, your machine? Going fifty thousand miles to destruction, fifteen thousand partial. Well, Doctor, well, it would be as well not to miss it then, wouldn't it? Ryan, we try a random shot. At least we'll see how the power bank reacts. Standby to test laser. Blue button. Red on standby. Because at the angle of 88 on zero four zero one now, distance closing, 400,000 dead, Phil, uh, 90, 480, Ryan, Tanyard, take a power reading on this, and fire, then of power maximum and normal, Ryan, well, everybody, I think we stand a chance of meteorites continue on course, because at the angle 88 on zero four zero. One and holding, distance closing, 30, 3, 50,000, 3, 40, 3, 30, angle changed, 87 in 0, 4, 0. 0.99, recurring, distance to 80,000, 4, 270, 260, lasers fine tuned with the doc, well, the doctor, Jamie, a current watch, right, stand by for further tests on lasers. Never let off. Power maximum 100. All systems green and red steady. Ryan, red on, f- on fire. St- on standby, fire. Let off. Power maximum and normal. All mid systems operating. Ryan, standby for test blanket fire. Red on standby. Let off. Power max for all 1000. All systems green and ready. Ryan on fire. Let off. Power maximum and normal. All systems operative. Ryan, well, let them all come. We're ready for them. Dada, I think it's reasonable to assume a Simon calls the star to go Nova. Cohen deliberately causing the meteorites to deflect from the orbital of it to destroy the wheel, you mean? Dada, no, not destroy the wheel. 
to make you want to use a laser. A sense in the server rats to attack the laser destroy the beryllium. Jimmy, and when you search when you search for the drifting rocket to find a big crate, Dutta with the Cybermen inside it, Jimmy I thought it was the only way they could get onto the wheel. Going and now you think they've repaired the laser? Jimmy they must have done. Otherwise they'd be smashing up the wheel, wouldn't they? Dutta so you see, this isn't just an attack by alien race on a space station. The Cybermen have another purpose. Going what? Doctor, they have an overriding ambition to evade the Earth, plunder its material wealth, and somehow they see it as a way of doing it through this will. Crying, but how do we stop? Can we stop them? Doctor, I don't know. Cohen presumably decided when to dispose of the crew members. The rocket in space. Doctor, mm, yes, Jimmy. A time vector doctor generator from the TARDIS. Where is it? Do- Jimmy, oh, you mean that gold foot thing? Doctor, yes, where is it? Jimmy, you got it. I put it in your pocket in the on in the rocket. Doctor, are you sure? Jamie, yes. Doctor, I haven't got it. Jamie, you must have it. Not unless you've fallen out when you they were moving you. It's important. Doctor's important. Someone has to go over the, the rocket to get it. Jamie, good luck to them. Who's going? Jamie, Doctor, well, Jimmy can spay someone. To show you how to make the journey. Do you me? Doctor, of course. You're the one who knows what it looks like. Besides me, I'm much too busy. Besides, it's your fate. Thought it's lost. Do you mean? Mine? Doctor, Doctor, well, isn't it? Doctor, well, yes. No, Doctor Cohen. Oh, Doctor, ouch. Ugh. Power room. Planner monitor. The Beatrice shower is approaching the wheel, so men. The weapons of Earth, humans, have been tested, operating, permanent on monitor. For 86 can be completed. So men, the Earth, humans, have set up a neutron fuel barrier on the perimeter of the section, containing their room of operations, planet on monitor. Do not complete. For 86, instrument, plan free. So well, follow me. Balance and so men, leave. Corridor Cohen, replace the field barrier. Now we're through, J- Zoe. I see it's clear ahead. Jimmy, I don't see why you should send a wee thing like that. With me, Cohen, she's the only one I can spare who knows enough about space drill to get you across so the, the rocket safely. Jimmy, maybe so. I still don't think I'm, I still think I can, I'm better myself, Cohen, do you? I wouldn't be too sure if I were you. Royal Operations Room. Ryan, have you gone off your head? Doctor, she she agreed to go. Ryan, she, there's no need to agree. You've got no right to let her. Doctor, I had to. Jamie will look after her. Ryan, have you any idea of the dangers they face between the wheel and the rocket? You sent Zoe and your friend out into the area which is bound to be bombarded with small debris quite apart from the irradiation from shock. Doctor, well, they knew it. We knew the risk, so he calculated it. Well, yes, so he calculated it. Well, Gemma, hey, what if Gemma meets up with one of those Cybermen things? Okay, so he come up, go into range now. Right away. Now, you don't do anything unless I say so. Clear. Tanya, take the power reading on, on this. Rico, calculate distance, any direction. A direction, all systems on standby. Oxygen room, Cohen. Zoe and Jamie find a crewman. Jamie's dead. Cohen, oh, yes, I'm afraid that's so, Zoe. If I see exit, you'll find space equipment in the airlock. Zoe, come on, Jamie. Jamie, all right, you better take that. On the, he hands Cohen the dead man's blaster and goes to the airlock. Cohen, good luck. Jamie, good, thank you. Cohen closes the airlock, then clo- goes into the video room. Com. Look. Um, vid, vid, video operations room. Doctor, yes, Cohen on monitor. We're through, no problems. Doctor, good. Cassidy, main concentration coming into range. Ryan, cross over on vector link. Countdown is now, from you now. Cassidy, well, this is the big stuff. Angle 90 on zero three distance, 100,000 miles. Ocean supply room. 
Kevin hides inside a bank of machinery as Vance enters carrying a small box. Cyberman Man follows him. Cyberman Man is control the gotchen on the space station. Vance, yes. Cyberman Man opened it. The box contains some silver capsules. Cyberman Man, each section of the wheel has separate, separate, separate eye supply. Vance, yes. Cyberman Man, insert a one capsule in each section. The oxygen will turn into pure ozone. The uh, humans will die. Will operations room. Ryan, fire, fire, fire. Custody. Oh, oh, it's hopeless. There's too many of them. Ryan, shut up, Rico. Fire. Custody. Angle change. Ten degrees. Doctor, yes. Corin, on monitor. Doctor, listen carefully. They're going to oxygen room. Corin, poison the air supply. You stand. Poison the air supply. Doctor, they see his movement behind Corin. Corin, tell Leo Ryan to switch. Over to sectional air supply unit. Wheels operations room. Doctor, Gemma, run. Get away from the there. Run. Corinne fires a blaster. The same is slowed for a moment. And Corinne runs to the door, but she's zapped and killed before she can open it. Doctor, Gemma, can you hear me? Gemma, Gemma, coach suddenly. Angle duration, 10 degrees. Ryan and fire. Doctor, Gemma. Space. Jeremy and Zoe watch the exploding meteorites. Joey, Zoe, look. Zoe, the meteorites, they're heading straight for us.